Hello and welcome to Behind the Lines. I'm Diane Dayton. Today we're going to talk about our mental health. With us we have Larry George, Executive Director of Lancaster County Behavioral Health and Developmental Services. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Jenny Rose Huber, you are Community Education Manager, and this is for Behavioral Health at Lancaster Regional Medical Center. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Our mental health is so important to talk about, and we need to take care of our mental health because it really does affect everything else. Sometimes it's a little hard to diagnose mental illness because there's so many different types. Is that right? Indeed there are. A and as you say, mental health uh, has so many facets to mm -hmm. it. Uh, I think the concept in and of itself is somewhat abstract, um, but it does speak to every aspect of our lives. Mental illness mm -hmm. is where our mental health is not operating at a functional or an optimal level. And I think all of us are subject to some degree of mental illness. Uh, what we stand for, Behavioral Health Developmental Services and our partner organizations such as Mental Health America, are about destigmatizing mental illness mm. and incorporating treatment of mental illness into our mental health. And this is something that can be done and we're working toward being more effective with it too, right? Yes. I think Lancaster County um, is an innovative county. There's lots of things going on um, throughout the county on trying to destigmatize this. Uh, the mental health um, collaboration uh, where a lot of the mental health providers in the county are working together on how to have easier access for people who are diagnosed um, just to get rid of the stigma to bring awareness to people who may not be suffering but a loved one may be um, so there's a lot of go there's a lot of great things going on and it is about working together collaboratively isn't it certainly and mental health america of lancaster county is really doing a good job with that too i would regard mental health america as the unifying organization under which organizations or agencies such as behavioral health developmental services lancaster regional medical center the other hospitals the multiple agencies in the county all come together yeah there are so many different types of mental illness and even like you were saying sometimes we each are touched with a period of depression here Certainly. and there. It's when it gets to that point where it's too serious that we really need to take some action, right? Indeed, and that's a very individualized place. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think what we've tried to do is help people to recognize when their lives are being negatively impacted by, say, depression, anxiety. Yeah, and to be aware enough to make a change, is that right? It affects everyone differently. So many mm -hmm. people don't realize that. They look for a very rigid, well, they don't fit this, so they're not suffering from that. But it affects everyone completely differently, and you have to know the warning signs. You have to know what to watch for. Little changes can, can be going on, but it could be a huge underlying factor. What are some things we should look for? What warning signs are there? Um, changes in sleeping. Um, habits, changes in eating, um, changes they no longer enjoy things that they used to. That's a huge warning mm -hmm. sign. Um, with suicide, you could have all different things going on. Someone could become very withdrawn. They could become agitated. Um, they could change from being outgoing to they no longer want to have any social interaction. There's so many different signs for different um, diagnosis, so it's hard. Okay. We're going to put your website's up on the screen because there's a lot of valuable information there too. What are we going to find on the website? You'll find uh, that Lancaster County BHDS uh, serves as essentially a resource center. We help facilitate services for individuals. We are aware of all the services and resources that are available within Lancaster County. And were you to contact Lancaster County BHDS, uh, you would likely be assessed for which of those services might be the best match for you. And what will we find with your website? We have a lot of great um, informational, educational pieces, links, um, resources that you can go and find out more. We also have, you can contact, you can come to the ER where if you do need immediate assistance. And then within our unit at the Behavioral Health Unit, you can access us and have an evaluation and assessment to see if our services are appropriate for what's going on as well. Treatments vary so much because individuals' needs vary so much. Can you address any of that? I mean, there's when if there's an issue and somebody wants to find out, how can I get help? They contact. They would contact our agency, yes, okay. and our intake staff and our crisis intervention staff. Mm -hmm. And I would like to emphasize uh, the 24-7 
availability and accessibility yes. of crisis intervention for anyone that is feeling the need to reach out or anyone who loved one is mm -hmm. seemingly needing to reach out, yeah. uh, is in distress. Um, we would be able to assess what an individual's needs are and refer them to the proper resource. So even if you're just thinking there may be an issue, reach out, Reach right? out and talk to someone, yeah. yes. Don't let it sit, reach no. out, be proactive about it, Either right? for yourself or for a loved exactly. one. Exactly. Yes. What else would you like to add to that? I think that's the biggest thing, reaching out, um, stepping up and realizing that something is going on. Don't mm -hmm. be afraid. So many people are afraid because of that stigma. But don't be, there's, there's endless resources out there. Um, we're available 24 seven as well. We have a full evaluation and assessment staff um, there 24 seven. You can access them any way you need. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, mental health has really been in the news lately because of, you know, the loss of Robin Williams and other issues that are going on. And I think we need to realize that this is important to talk about and it is important to be healthy and there are ways to do it and there are programs, right? Yes. Yeah. Your mental wellness affects your physical wellness mm -hmm. and so many people don't realize that. If you're not mentally well, you're not gonna be physically well. Um, so many people focus on physical illnesses but your mental health is just as important. Yes, it definitely is. And you've been doing this for a long time too, right, Larry? I have. I've been with the county for 25 years, yes. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of difference that this organization and organizations like this within the community can really make in keeping our community healthy, right? Truly, and I think what I'm proudest of is the recognition of agencies such as mine and Mental Health America uh, that we need to educate the public. Um, I think Jenny had mentioned uh, destigmatization mm -hmm. earlier, and that's right. essential to what we do. Uh, taking these issues out of the closet. That's right. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. Yes. And we're gonna keep talking about it to make a difference in our community. And I really appreciate you coming on today and giving the information and giving us the resources once again, the websites we're gonna put up on the screen, and there's also hotlines so that you know that you can get help 24-7. Thank you so much for all that you do. We're going to talk about other issues, and suicide is one of them. Stay